for those of us who work with UL, who have uh, a yellow card, and who have to uh, review yellow card for our material or product application, we understand that on the yellow card, on the right-hand column, it says LTI. Okay, what does that mean? The LTI is a refraction of the long-term thermal endurance of the material. Okay, you can obtain LTI two ways. If you don't want to spend the money, then you will give you generic LTI based on the chemistry of the material. And the generic LTI that UL give out is very conservative, sometimes even useless. If you look at the example below, polypropylene has a generic LTI of 65 degrees C. That's just a little bit more than a warm water. And we know that engineer uh, gray polypropylene can do a lot better than that. Even very high-end material like PI, polyimide, we know it's a 200 and 220 uh, degree C material. The generic LTI is only 130. So obviously for a manufacturer, we do not like to use a UL generic LTI. So if we want to test our LTI, then that's what UL call long-term properties. It involves aging of the insulating materials. And scientific studies have proven that thermal degradation is a dominant aging factor over time in the majority of applications. And the degradation of material properties can be mechanical, can be electrical, can be both. Over time, it's nonlinear at elevated temperatures. What it means is that at the, at the beginning, at certain, tem certain elevated temperature, the degradation is slow and then it acc accelerate, not in a linear manner. And with UL, um, long-term thermal aging uh, for materials covered under UL 746B, mechanical is tensile, and if the material is fake enough, uh, impact also. Electrical is always dielectric strength. The thermal degradation follow the Arrhenius equation or activation energy. What it means is that the higher the aging temperature, the faster is the degradation, but in the nonlinear manner. Okay, I keep talking about degradation. So degradation of the material properties is what we want to measure. How?